Continuiamo con la nostra ricerca di ritratti, di altri ritratti e andiamo a cercare un altro tipo di musica, quella che affronta il rapporto appunto tra il pop e il classico con un grandissimo gruppo, quello della Penguin Café Orchestra. La loro ultima opera è The Union Café. Noi siamo andati a intervistare il capo dei pinguini, Simon Jeff, che ci parlerà della trasformazione da quintetto d'archi a piccola orchestra, The Penguin Café Orchestra. Shock ritratti questa sera abbiamo in esclusiva il Penguin Cafe Orchestra con il loro fondatore Simon. Hello Simon, welcome to Video Me. Hello, hi. The uh, program we're um, doing this interview for is Mocha Shock Ritratti, which means portraits. And uh, to begin with we'd like to know if you could choose somebody, an artist or a, a, a film director or a photographer to create a portrait of you, who would you choose? I think uh, James Enzor, the, uh, he's a Belgian artist. I was in France in 1972, in June, and uh, I'd eaten some bad fish, and I was very, very sick. And while I was lying in bed, I, I, I was in a kind of uh, uh, delirium, you know, I was having visions. And the vision I had uh, seemed to be, um, it, sometime in the future, there was, there was a building which was uh, in an arc. And this voice inside my head described this place where the most important thing is that spontaneity and the random element is, um, is, is allowable, it happens. Everything happens in a spontaneous way and the creativity that comes from that is much more important than the safety that comes from having an overly orderly society. So really he's saying, don't, just because you're scared of chaos, don't don't become too tight about it, otherwise you lose everything. And, uh, and that's when I first heard the name of the Penguin Cafe. And, uh, and from that, the Penguin Cafe Orchestra was born.
for Sid Vicious. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> yes, I think we did the best version that I've heard. Um, I've forgotten how it happened now because a friend of mine was the uh, John Tiberi, who was the Sex Pistols road manager, and he lived in London, and uh, we know each other. And so when Malcolm McLaren bought this tape over from Paris with a version of Sid Vicious singing my way with some French musicians backing him, uh, we took the tapes into a studio in London and uh, this, uh, Steve Cook and Paul Jones did uh, added drums and guitar to it. And, uh, and I was invited to add strings to it. It was, uh, it was great because when I, uh, Malcolm's idea, you know the way he is, he, he really wanted to make a kind of spoof a complete spoof, a kind of, uh, of, of this kind of um, show business sort of thing. But um, when I listened to this tape of Sid singing it, it was, it, 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 was very, it was a very strong feeling I had. It felt very tragic, actually. It was a very tragic and, and, uh, uh, piece. Um, but also it had tremendous, it had aggression and life in it, funnily enough, ironically. It had a tremendous, it was tragic, but full of life. And so the arrangement I wrote for it was a very, Musically, it was a very, very strong statement. It wasn't a kind of pastiche at all. And I think the piece came out really good. And in its original version, it's a horrendously self-satisfied, smug, <laughs> nauseating sort of uh, concept that, that really, um, I think Sid saved the song, really. considered the, the fact that rock music and pop music are so uh, gut arriving because of the beat that they have under, which is a tribal uh, primordial recalling. Um, now your compositions... that they're starting to do the sound check. Um, Union Cafe, why this name? Are you becoming a pop? Mm. Well, it's, it's an interesting interesting process, the making this new record, because uh, I discovered that... Um, it's, a person, it's a personal comment, really, because I discovered that in order to be together, you have to be independent. Um, in, order to, and in order to grow, you have to be separate. In, uh, it's a complicated thing. In order to, so, so, in order to be related, you have to be separate, and uh, and somehow I've learned to be separate. But and, and from this position of being separate, I'm able to be together with with other people, um, and that's a very good position. And somehow, union union is a result of that. You can actually have union with people and your situation when you're um, somehow separate and independent, self-determining. Self-standing. 
That would be good advice for a lot of couples that are breaking up out there. <laughs> Take a vacation and get back together, see how one has grown. Yeah, yeah that's right.